Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this simple exponential equation. The equation is 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 then plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power of x then minus 7 equal to 0. Let me start by simplifying this applying one of the laws of indices to split the exponents. So we have 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x then multiply by 3 to the power of 1 according to one of the laws of indices then plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power of x then we have minus 7 the whole of this equal to 0 all right if you multiply this together you're going to obtain 4 times 3 which is 12 then multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x then plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 7 the whole of this equal to 0. According to one of the laws of indices we can bring power of 2 outside from this term. So we have 12 multiplied by 3 to the power of x but to the power of 2 it is the same thing. Then plus 17 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 7 the whole of this equal to 0. If you observe these numbers are the same, so we can consider this as a quadratic equation in terms of 3 to the power of x, which is like saying 12x squared plus 17x minus 7 equal to 0, which is indeed a quadratic equation. So how can we factorize it? We can first of all multiply the leading coefficient, which is 12, by what? The constant term, which is negative 7, and this will give us negative 84. Let us think of two numbers we can multiply together to get this negative 84. But when we add them together, we're going to get positive 17. The numbers are 21 and negative 4. Just multiply them together, you have to get negative 84. But when you add them together, you're going to get 17. So how can we factorize it? We take 3 to the power of x, which is like our normal x. Then the first number here, which is 21 positive 21 but divided by the leading coefficient whenever the leading coefficient is not one you can apply this method if at all it is factorable right then you multiply by 3 to the power of x again then the next number which is negative 4 but negative 4 also divide by the leading coefficient the whole of this equal to 0 now we have two factors let us set each to be equal to 0 3 to the power of x plus we can reduce this to the lowest term because 3 can go into 21 7 times and 3 can go into 12 4 times right this is equal to 0 and the other one 3 to the power of x minus 1 divided by 3 right this is equal to 0 3 to the power of x is equal to negative 7 divided by 4 which is not possible because 3 to the power of x is always positive. So this is not true. We are not going to consider this one. Then the second one, we have 3 to the power of x. If negative 1 divided by 3 crosses over, it becomes positive 1 divided by 3. And 1 divided by 3 is the same thing as 3 to the negative 1, right? So 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of negative 1. Since the bases are the same, it implies that the exponents are also the same. And finally, x must be equal to negative 1. This is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.